Our bones appear static and little changeable. Our hair grows, our skin is renewed, our muscles change their tone. But, our bones? They are supremely dynamic. Much more than you might think. The compact bone in our body is completely renewed every 10 years. That's right, if you are 28 years old, your skeleton is completely different from when you were 18. Compact bone covers our bones, and spongy bone is inside. The latter is less compact and has trabeculae that make it appear hollow, as if it were a sponge. In osteoporosis, our bones become fragile, less dense and fracture easily, as if they were made of porcelain. This occurs due to an imbalance between the resorption of old bone and the formation of new bone. Osteoclasts are cells in charge of breaking down bone, making it brittle and less dense. On the other hand, the osteoblasts are responsible for creating new bone and strengthening it, using minerals such as calcium and phosphate in our blood. Do you want to build strong bones? Hormones such as estrogen, human growth hormone and testosterone increase the activity of osteoblasts, causing new bone to form. The physical forces and pressure generated by exercise, also contribute to the formation of strong and dense bones. This is why it is so important to exercise when we are young, since we only have up to 30 years to build dense and strong bone mass, after this age, osteoclasts gradually remove more bone than the osteoblasts are capable of creating. Our eating habits and the exercise we do during our youth, determine the health of our bones in old age. There are two types of osteoporosis, primary osteoporosis and secondary osteoporosis. Primary osteoporosis is associated with advanced age and low estrogen levels in women. Secondary osteoporosis occurs at any age, and is associated with cancer, hormonal problems, or the use of certain medications. Our peak bone density determines how quickly we can develop osteoporosis in old age. Some risk factors for having low peak bone mass include Family history of osteoporosis Being white or Asian Being female Having a poor diet Steroids or seizure medications Lack of exercise And smoking or drinking too much some common fracture sites in people with osteoporosis are the wrists, spine and hips. Building healthy bones with a diet rich in calcium and certain vitamins like vitamin D, can help prevent osteoporosis, since this improves calcium absorption in the intestine. There are also medications to treat osteoporosis, such as bisphosphonates, denosumab, selective estrogen receptor modulators, and calcitonin. These drugs decrease osteoclast activity, causing bone resorption to decrease. If you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and activate the bell. Producing this video, required working together with doctors, scriptwriters, graphic designers, animators, and our narration editor. We have a huge library of videos. Subscribe to our channel, and activate the notification bell to see them first. If you like the way we explain, and you want to sponsor one of our videos, please visit our website, or contact us at the email that appears on the screen. If you would like to support us, please become our Patreon. You will find a link in the description. Thanks for watching. See you in our next video.